So the big question is this, how do most agents who struggle to get the information that most successful agents hoard to themselves grow and prosper without this information? That's the big question, and this video cast is the answer. Welcome to Real Estate Rockstars. I'm your host, Pat Hyben. Okay, Rockstar Nation. Boy, I have a great guest today coming out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Mr. Brett Ratowski. And uh, Brett is an agent, an amazing story he has. And I'm going to just let him tell it to you, but... Uh, we're going to get deep down in some good stuff that we don't get into enough. So without further ado, Brett, welcome to Real Estate Rockstars. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me on here. Hey, Brett, why don't you uh, give everybody a rundown on yourself so they can get to know you better? Absolutely. So obviously a full-time agent out in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Been active since 2013, um, so about five years now. Um, when I started real estate, I was part-time. Uh, working at a, at a restaurant, trying to, to figure out whether real estate was my thing or not. Um, after two years of being full time or part time and selling one property in two years, I decided, listen, it's either I go for it or, or, or I just stop. Uh, it wasn't working for me. So I went full time and things started out well, did a, you know, a couple deals here and there, kept, kept the money coming in, paying the bills, this, that, and the other. Um, then hit rock bottom. So in April, uh, February of 2016, my, my pipeline dried up. Uh, I, I couldn't generate leads enough. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't prospecting like I should have. Um, went through a bad breakup. And then at that time, I had no money in the bank. I was down to $5 in the bank account. I spent my last dollars on Joshua Smith's uh, 90 Day Mastery Bootcamp. And had my car repoed, was living on my sister's couch uh, for a couple months and going back to uh, I was my now fiance. I was going from her house to um, my sister's house, living out of a suitcase, uh, no car, was borrowing her, my, my now fiance's car at the time to, to even get to work and stuff like that. So um, went from that to having no sales in the pipeline to doing the 90 day mastery boot camp and figuring out that you know, going through that boot camp, that there was two two things in my in my business that helped me grow. One was open houses. Everyone kept saying me open houses do this. The second was Facebook. Um, I dialed in Facebook ads. I was, uh, you know, I already knew about it. My best friend is an online marketer. So he kept telling me, "Hey, you need to to look into Facebook. You need to look into Facebook." And I was like, "Yeah, you know what? It, it might not be for me." Now today, I love it. So I I went from five dollars in the bank account, had my car repossessed, to in the last. Uh, it's about 20 months now. I've spent about $4,000 and, and grossed um, just under $210,000 in, 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 in GCI in my real estate business. Um, it, it was, it, it's been a roller coaster. Um, it, it's, you know, going from rock bottom to now being on the, you know, one of the top in my, in my uh, offices and, and, and around here um, strictly because of Facebook. Um, I've done 26 deals in the last 18 months from Facebook and, and that that's what helped it. Obviously that open houses as well, but uh, most of my business has come from Facebook in the last 18 months. That's a great story. Um, going from, you know, car repoed, sleeping on Sis's couch, yeah, right down and was, out. Oh, and God. as a real estate agent, as a real estate agent, mind you. So let, let's, I mean, you know, how do you do anything without a car, right? Well, I guess you could get a personal driver, right? And just live day to day and just, yeah. you know, get an Uber everywhere and be like, oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, okay, so, in, today, in today's market, you can, yeah, right? Absolutely, so. <laughs> absolutely. Um, okay, so um, let's, let's talk about this. We want to get into some meat and potatoes here. So yep. the last 12 months, okay, what's your ego commission income? What is your GCI in the last 12 months? Your in the last... In the last 12 months, my GCI was 180000 All right, a buck 80, right? Mm -hmm. um, and what's your net profit on that? My net profit was 165. Roughly, roughly. Yeah, so 165. You spent 15 grand total, mm -hmm. broker fees, everything. Yep. Okay, so that's great. And obviously, you're a solo agent. Yeah. Um, 
So um, I want to talk about how. I guess that's how, all we really need to talk about today is like how. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? So that's, that's, you know, let's boil it down to that, right? Because we've heard yes, everything else. So tell us what you did from day one, you know, 18 months ago, 20 months ago, and how we can do it at home. So I went from obviously doing nothing in my real estate business to making a decision that I would never go back to that rock bottom feeling again, where my now fiance walks out and says, Hey, Brett, where's your car at? So the first thing was the decision to build my business before I was, it was just a hobby. It wasn't a business. So that was, that's the first thing making that deciding that I'm going to make a change and, and grow. So the second was obviously the Facebook. I had knew, uh, you know, I've known about Facebook, but I spent day in and day out trying to master my craft, paid for different courses here and there, um, learned from my best friend. So what I did is obviously got my real estate website, which I didn't have before in the, in the, in the past three years uh, prior to, to, to going from- A website uh, that, you know, just your name. Yes. Yeah. That's, yeah, it's an IDX website where you can create searches. I perfectly, you know, I use perfectstormnow.com, but you can, you know, it doesn't matter. A lot of my, a lot of people use- Stormnow.com is what? Uh, is, is, a, is an IDX website. They just, just broke it out. It's an IDX website that puts your face on it. Say brettkowski.com. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. So simple stuff like that. And then I want to talk to you about the Facebook ads, right? So yep. this, this is nitty gritty. So like, how do I write a Facebook ad today? Um, that's going to make me money tomorrow. So you need to, one, you need to know that Facebook is, is a pipeline play. Um, it's not necessarily going to get you business right now. Um, it's more of a, like I said, a pipeline play. So it's a long-term, the average Facebook lead is, is five to 12 months out from five to the, 12 months. Really? Correct. Yep. Wow. The average. Now you will get the select few. Like when I started, I got three right off the bat. Um, that we're ready to go right now. Weren't working with an agent, just starting a process. On being in the business a year from now, which I would hope you are, if you're listening to this, then absolutely it's a play because look at you, right? I mean, you're yep. you're, you're 180 thousand all from Facebook in the last 12 months. What? So, can you walk me through <laughs> the pipeline on this show today, so that you know it, it, this is what I want to create right now mm -hmm. today. Yep. People going holy dirt, you know, and and grabbing pe pieces of paper and pens and just writing down every word that you're saying, like this step by step. Can we do that? Yeah, absolutely. Right. So, what's the first step? Like, how do I do this? So, the first step is having a goal in mind with Facebook when it comes down to Facebook. So, having the goal of okay, am I just branding myself or do I want to generate leads? Like, what is my goal? Do I want to just promote this open house or promote this property? I think they want to generate leads. Right? Correct. Branding is you know, smanding. No, nobody does. Correct. <laughs> exactly. So, so having that goal in mind, which is obviously generating the leads and then knowing what type of campaign. So Facebook sets up, um, sets up their, pro, their process of, of like an online marketer. So the first thing is knowing the campaign to run. In my business, I use it's 90% is Facebook lead generation. So when you go into the campaign section of your ads manager um, in, in your, in, in your back end for where you're running Facebook, yep. Yep. I use lead generation. So why I use lead generation is because Facebook is generating the information from the leads profile versus them going to your website and asking for them to fill in the information, which 90% of the time they're giving the wrong, they're giving the wrong information. And, and lead generation is just part of Facebook. Like, you know. Correct. Yeah, okay. It's all done within Facebook. Correct. So, so like the first day, like what did you do? Like, like um, who did you pick a certain neighborhood? Did you pick what, like what can uh, we a pick? city? You picked a so city. I, you picked Fort I picked Lauderdale, this, Florida. Fort Lauderdale, Florida is where I started it. Yep. Now and I run a and then bunch of do with it. Yep. So I picked the Fort Lauderdale, obviously I had the campaign. Um, and that's where I get, so it's first your campaign, so which is lead generation. The second is your audience, your placement and your budget. So that's the second portion of Facebook. The audience, the, the, which is called the ad set. So in the ad set is your audience and your, and your location. So obviously I picked my city, which was Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I personally only do the current city. Um, you could do a radius search, uh, but I only do the current city of Fort Lauderdale 
or whatever city that I'm running my ads in. Um, and then I dial in now, now I have my location, my audience is now Fort Lauderdale and anyone that's interested in real estate. So when you, when you look at your detailed targeting in the ad set portion, there's, um, interest, there's behaviors, there's dem demographics, there's uh, home values. I only use interest because that is what individuals are searching online or like pages similar. So real estate, Zillow, Trulia, realtor.com, homes.com, um, mortgage calculators, mortgage loans, FHA insured loans, pre-qualification lending. These are all interests that come up when you type them into the detailed targeting. That is once I understood that and narrowed down my specific audience, that's when my Facebook ads started killing it. Right, I was going from eight dollars a lead. Now I'm down to uh, right now I have two, uh, one ad that's running at, at two dollars a lead. Okay, so once I narrowed down my specific audience, then I only run my my ads in Facebook newsfeed. That's where the that's where the eyes are at. That's where the money's at. Um, so your your location is for whatever city you're in, current city. The uh, detailed targeting is in whatever interests that are real estate related. There's tons of them. If you just search in real estate uh, words, you know, like I said, uh, loans or mortgage loans, mortgage banker, as long as it's an interest, you're good. You, th that is a real, as long as it's a real estate interest, you know, that's what you People use. really like, and, and why do you do that? Because wouldn't that attract other agents and investors? I mean, investors, if you want to just work with investors, I guess, is that what you're working with or, or what? No. Well, I, I mean, obviously I work with some investors, but there's an exclusion portion of the ad, of the audience detail targeting. So you can exclude real estate as a behavior, which is business to business. And that is anyone that is an owner or an employee of a real estate company. I want you to think about the word toolbox. What is a toolbox? A toolbox is a box full of tools that you use to build something great. At Real Estate Rockstars, we've created our own free toolbox. So everybody that comes on the show as a guest brings a tool with them and we plow them all into this toolbox and we give it away for our viewing audience to basically use as they wish. Everything we put in there is an actionable item that can be downloaded, can be printed, can be used immediately. And we got things like scripts and dialogues, checklists for teams, checklists to keep agents accountable, referral forms that are filled out at settlement to get referrals by your buyers and sellers. Everything you could think of that you could use on a regular basis about real estate is included in this toolbox. And it's helping agents worldwide sell more houses and make their jobs a lot easier and processes much more efficient. And the thing is, it's absolutely free. All you gotta do is go to hybendigital.com backslash toolbox or text the word toolbox to 444-999. That's toolbox 444-999. Do it now. People interested in real estate who aren't active in real estate. Correct, is who I'm targeting. That's fascinating. Yep. And, and what, what are you sending them? So the cold traffic I send them um, when I'm running a, an ad to somebody that's never seen my ad before, it's a whole, either a homes search or uh, check out these open houses. Most of the time, 90% we start off with, hey, here's all the homes under the median price point. That's where, because the median price point is where the majority of the buyers are in your market. So you take the median price point of Fort Lauderdale and, and I'm creating a, a custom search on my website that I'm driving them to that search. So you have an ad. Let's say what's the median price point now in Fort Lauderdale? 325. So you have an ad that says free list of, or, or no, it says, it says, wow, check out like, so one would be one ad copy would be, wow, check out all these amazing homes uh, for sale in Fort Lauderdale under 325,000 for more information, click learn more below, right? That's one. Um, another one could be uh, looking in all caps. I put it looking for a new home in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, find your new home today. Um, right. Uh, and then it could say, you know, uh, you could, you could play. Uh, I always, I always use the homes for sale under a certain price point. 
Um, in Fort Lauderdale, pool homes are a huge thing. So, you know, another one would be, um, wow, check out all these amazing home, um, these amazing pool homes, these amazing homes for sale with a swimming pool in Fort Lauderdale under 350, or 325,000. Uh, and then sometimes I'll put in there, um, some of these homes may qualify for special uh, financing programs, um, right? Just give it a little bit of a, of a call to action of why they should click on their, on their, on and, that app. And, okay. So people start clicking Yep. and then what? So once they click on the learn more, uh, uh, call to action button, it brings them to a lead form. So that's why I use the lead generation because everything, all the information is collected inside of Facebook. So the lead form, um, has an intro page that says, Hey, here's all the homes for sale. Tells the, telling them what they're getting. And then it moves them down to, uh, what, which is called the questions portion of it. And it, literally all it asks, all you ask for is name, phone number, email. Um, so I do first name, last name, email, phone number. Facebook will auto populate all that information. Um, once they, once they've gotten to that portion. So it takes their information from their Facebook, uh, profile in, uh, auto populates it. And then it takes them to the thank you screen. Once they've submitted that, takes them to the thank you screen that says view my website for all the homes in Fort Lauderdale under 325,000. Once they view that website, boom, I have captured their lead. I get a notification and then obviously I'm calling them within the first five minutes. And then once they hit the view website, it takes them to that automated search that I've created on my website. And then, um, so the, the four months, the 12 months that it takes to nurture them, that sort of thing. What are you doing during that period of time? So the first 10 days, uh, we want, we, you want to reach them at least, reach out to them at least 15 times. Now that doesn't have to be 15 phone calls. Wow. 15 times in 10 days. Yep. It could be a te text message, email, or phone call. One of the three, at least 15 times within the first 10, 10 days. I call it, a lot of people call it the, the 10 days of pain. Everyone's, <laughs> yeah, everyone's, a, everyone's a little bit different when they use their 10 days of pain. I do 15 times, 15 reaches, uh, reach outs in the first 10 days. Um, once I start, once I switched from you know, instead of, cause at first I started running conversion ads, which is just sending them to your website and they generate the, you know, they, they, uh, a lead capture pops up and they, they put their information. Once I switched to the lead form, I got, I, it's 80 to 90% of the, of the data that is in Facebook is correct. So obviously first five minutes, call them. If they don't answer text message, if they don't, uh, and then right after the text message, I have an auto responder on my CRM. So the, the emails I'm not worried about, those are, that, that's an automated drip campaign that's automatically going out. So for me personally, all I have to worry about is text messages and emails or, and phone calls. And, and what are you saying in these text messages? And, and, you know, what are you saying? Like text, if you're texting me right now, I clicked on something last week. Um, you know, we haven't spoken. What are you saying? So uh, if we haven't spoken, I'm just reaching out to them. Sometimes I'll just ask them a question. Uh, but most of the time it's just, Hey, just wanted to check in, see if you had any, uh, any questions about any of the properties that you've been viewing on my real estate website. And then I'll put in there, your realtor, Brett Rakowski. Um, just, just showing them that I'm there. Uh, it doesn't, ne not all the time will you get somebody to respond, obviously. Um, but so, you know, just asking them how they're doing, I've seen a bigger response than just saying, Hey, this is, you know, just checking in to, to see if you have any questions. Like, so, uh, most of the time I'll ask them just, Hey, how they're doing, you know, uh, how's your day going or how's your week going? Your realtor, Brett, just some, just something. So they see your name and number. That's it. It doesn't have to be, Hey, let's talk. And I want to help you sell, you know, buy your home. People don't care. Like they, they want the relationship. They want to know you, like you and trust you before they do business with you. So just building up that rapport and that trust that you're not there, uh, you're there to help them and, and to care for them, not necessarily just sell them a home to make some money. And are these uh, typically these leads that you're getting buyers or sellers? Buyers, sellers do come through though, through these ads. I don't necessarily run seller ads um, for sellers. It's more of a, like a, a branding play where you would just pick a specific neighborhood, but most of them are, uh, are going to be buyers. 
if this if they are a seller it's because they're starting the buying process they want to know what they can purchase before they decide to sell to sell their home so most of your sellers do come through through that um through the buyers but m- uh, probably about 95 percent of them are buyer leads okay so this buy so we're kind of like it's kind of like fishing right right yep. you're just like throwing the line in the water with a worm on it and and it's actually like fishing where you don't have to sit there uh, under a tree with a hat on and drink a beer and wait, right? It's fishing <laughs> yep. where you're setting the line and then walking away, not doing anything, and then and then just coming back and, and catch the fish. That's right? it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a good. It's a good analogy. You know, I, I decided I was I wanted when I you know when I decided to make the the choice to start running ads, it was. I want something that's continue, you know, because I always see these online marketers that are like, they're always, they, they always talk about, you know, putting a product out there, for example, that's making them money while they sleep. I wanted something to generate me leads while I sleep as well, right? And I didn't want to spend $3,000 a month in, in one zip code for my market. You know, I'm spending five to a thousand, uh, 500 to $1,000 a month now. So I wanted something that's continuously building uh, uh, leads and building that pipeline that like like we were talking about earlier in 12 months from now i'm doing you know uh two to three deals a month from facebook right um if you follow up you can generate anyone could fish you can't if you don't know how to set the hook and convert them then 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 it, it, it doesn't mean anything that's great and i love this because like guys listen so here's a solo agent spending 500 bucks a month which is six grand a year and now mind you he's got you know total expenses is 15 grand (laughs) out of 180. So, and, 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 and just killing it with Facebook ads. Now, now you've taken this to another level, right? And so now, you know, Josh Smith, um, great guy, uh, get shit done, been on the show, you know, several times, um, has, um, asked you to do his Facebook ads for his, um, real estate team in Arizona. Yep. And uh, you had mentioned before we started, he's you know spending close to ten thousand a month doing that. Like if somebody listening has a big team, right? And they're like, I want to provide leads for my team um, instead of Zillow, Trulia, and Realtor dot com. What advice do you have? Is your advice, well, you should do both and diversify? Or is your advice, no, put all the money on the table that's winning, go with Facebook? So, yeah, me personally in my business, um, I 100% am sold on Facebook. Obviously, Joshua Smith is you know, spending nine, uh, close to $10,000 a month only in Facebook. He doesn't do any Zillow or real, true to, uh, truly or realtor.com. So I personally would say yes, because the return on the investment is, is, is by far the best uh, ROI that you can get uh, because the cost per lead is dollars versus, you know, two to th- anywhere from two to $10 versus I think the average Zillow lead is $37. So yes, right, I would okay, say. So let's, let's talk about this, right? So yep. the average Zillow lead is $37. What's the average Facebook lead? In, so in all the people that I manage their ads, it is $5 across the board. Five bucks. And I've watched videos myself um, for Facebook ads that we run for Rebus University. And $5 is about the industry standard of what you want your cost per lead, your CPL as they call it, yep. to be. Less than $5 is even great. And I know you got some people in some markets – that you're running ads for where it's, it's three bucks, right? Yep, absolutely. So let's look at this, right? I remember reading a book one time and the book said, I, I wish I remember the name of it and the author, but um, it wasn't me. I can, I'm not making this up. So um, <laughs> it said, listen, if, you're, if you go to a casino and there's two craps tables and one craps table, everybody that's there is winning over and over and over again, it's impossible for the dice to roll in favor of the house, right? In favor of the casino. And then you got another craps table that's, you know, winning every once in a while and the house wins a majority of the time like they always will. Mm-hmm. And you know that the other craps table where, where it's winning nonstop, 
is not going to end, why in the world <laughs> would you go to the craps table that only wins one er one out of every five rolls? You know what I mean? And it's it's the same philosophy here, right? If, if Facebook is a craps table where you're getting three to five, three to six even, cost per lead, and Zillow is 37, what logic does it make? What, 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 what's the sense there? How is that mathematically logical to continue to do, you know, other lead sources? Talk to me about that. Yeah, it, it doesn't for, for, for in my example, and, and not only the, the $37 per lead versus three to six dollars, you're stuck in contracts, right? Facebook, if you want to do five thousand dollars next month and a thousand the next month, you're you're in charge of your own marketing, and your own budget. Say you have a, a two bad months and you can't afford fifteen hundred dollars and you got to dumb it down to you know drop the budget to five hundred bucks. You have the ability to do that. With, with Zillow, you're stuck. You're paying it for, for six months or three months or however long your contract is with them, right? So it, 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 that analogy and what you just said about the craps, it, it, it makes 100% uh, sense in me and for me and my business, and that's why I decided to go with Facebook marketing. Um, I didn't want to be stuck in any contracts or, uh, you know, I tried, I tried uh, realtor.com when I first started out it didn't get any leads and I know people, I, but I know there are people that do kill it with realtor.com and Zillow. But for me, I wanted to be in control of my marketing and, kill and it. kill it is a, you know, who knows what quote unquote, yeah, right. Right? They exactly, could, yeah. They could be killing it, but they could be, you know, their net profit could be 0% or 5% yeah. yours and your net profit is, you know, 90%. So let me, so let me talk it night more than 90%. So, yep. um, what is your okay? So Facebook talks about cost per lead. Yep. Right. What is your definition of a lead? So a lead is anyone that comes in that's name, phone number uh, that at least has a, a name, an email, or a name and a phone number. I want you to think about the word toolbox. What is a toolbox? A toolbox is a box full of tools that you use to build something great. At Real Estate Rockstars, we've created our own free toolbox. So everybody that comes on the show as a guest brings a tool with them and we plow them all into this toolbox and we give it away for our viewing audience to basically use as they wish. Everything we put in there is an actionable item that can be downloaded, can be printed, can be used immediately. And we got things like scripts and dialogues, checklists for teams, checklists to keep agents accountable, referral forms that are filled out at settlement to get referrals by your buyers and sellers. Everything you could think of that you could use on a regular basis about real estate is included in this toolbox. And it's helping agents worldwide sell more houses and make their jobs a lot easier and processes much more efficient. And the thing is, it's absolutely free. All you got to do is go to hybendigital.com backslash toolbox or text the word toolbox to 444-999. That's toolbox 444-999. Do it now. And they, uh, they've already fit through your through your scale of how they qualify, right? Because, you know, you know they're interested in real estate and you know that they were curious about houses under 125,000. So, you know, people don't just click on that unless there's some thought in their mind of buying a house. How many of these leads do you have to go through to turn it into an appointment, do you know? So that really comes down to uh, how good somebody is at converting the lead, these leads. And like I said before, it's, it's, you can, you can spend, you know, you can generate a hundred leads. Uh, me and my business, it's one in every hundred that come through equals a closed sale. So okay, one in every hundred equals a closed sale. So essentially yep. at five bucks a lead, you're, you're, you're paying 500 bucks, right? Yep. You're going through a lot and, but you know, at the end of the day, you're going through a lot with, with any lead source online now, whether it's Zillow, truly a, you know, anything. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Google AdWords. Um, okay. And then um, what, what are your say four or five 
best ads that you're running? I know you like the one that, you know, here's a list of, wow, look at these yep. great houses under 325. What else? So I have that. Um, majority of them are the are just homes lists. Um, I do a lot of retargeting, which is uh, retargeting ads are, are definitely what's killing it. But the ad copies themselves, I do um, one that that is targeted to renters and first uh, people that are more likely to become a first time home buyer in the future. In the next, I think it's six months or something like that. It what says. does that one say? So that one says, "Are you tired of paying your landlord's mortgage? Mm. Check out all." Yeah. <laughs> check out all these homes. Check out all these homes that are uh, uh, available under whatever the median price point is that you could own for less per month than you rent your home today. And then click learn more for more information. Those ads kill it for sure in my market. Now, again, every market's a little bit different. Um, one that we're running, uh, that I'm running that's not in my market is uh, Ray Petrick, who's out in I forget exactly where he's at off the top of my head, but he's running um, homes that are, check out all these homes for sale that are one acre or more with three bedrooms under a certain price point. So it's really knowing your market um, and how to speak to the pain points of your audience uh, that you're talking to. So those are pretty much. Uh, yeah. So like his, in his market, for instance, a pain point might be, um, you know, all the builders are coming in, they're building these dinky lots, they're building the eighth acre, quarter yep. acre, and that sort of thing. And you've got obviously people out there that value land. Yes. They're like, man, you know, bitching and complaining that all these lots are coming in all small and da 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 da, whatever happened to ha having a piece of land. Then all of a sudden they see one acre or more. Hey, man, I didn't know that. That's cool. Yep. Most of them be like, I didn't know these exist, right? Right. So yeah. <clears throat> I always start my ad copy. I'll just talk into like how I create my ad copy because it's not always 100% the same uh, for, from every audience. It, it's different. So I start with a customer avatar and this is typical. If you ask any online marketer, any marketer in general, you always start with your type of campaign, which is whatever your, whatever your goal is, your objective. Then you decide who the audience is, which is your customer, uh, your customer avatar. Who is your ideal client that you want to target? in this campaign. Okay. So if it's renters in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I want to know what is the average, what, what is the age range of renters and first time home buyers? And with Facebook, you can go into, it's called audience insights and you can type in these demographics and interests and find out what the age range of active users on Facebook are that are, um, renters or, uh, soon to be first time home buyers. And once I know my audience, my demographic and everything, then I create that ad to speak directly to that audience. I'm not creating an ad and an ad copy and then deciding what audience it is because then I can't speak directly to them. I can't speak to a pain point that they may, ha may be having. You know, another, one may be some, you know, uh, individuals that are, are moving up, you know, their, their, their families outgrowing the home. So that, that may be your audience. And then you decide, okay, are, you know, are, have you outgrown your home? Check out all these homes for four bedrooms plus under a certain price point, right? So you need to know who your audience is and then you create your ad copy around that. Um, so I, again, I can, give you, I can give you ad copy, but in the end, you got to know your market. You got to know the audience you want to target and then you build the, the ad copy around that. I, I love that analogy. I just had a business that I invested in. Um, I invested in it like four years ago and, and it, it, it basically failed. I had a conversation with the guy last week and I'm like, dude, what happened? And he said, you know, he said, I invented and we created um, an, an aspirin. No, we created a vitamin and our consumer wanted an aspirin, you know? And I thought, yep. well, that makes sense. It ties into what you're saying with the avatar, right? You're, yep finding the pain point, then you're providing the aspirin for it. You're exactly. not just giving them a vitamin, which would be a, you know, a, a benefit. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. clears throat> that, that's neat. Okay. So cool. So you're going to provide us with uh, a couple of um, four or five different really cool ads that you're running that, that are working right now, right? Yep. I sure will. And I'll, and what I'll do in that is I'll put, I'll put together what my, what my audience would be for this specific type of ad copy. And then let, you know, then give you the ad copy and see what, 
uh, let you see what the ad would look like once it's running. That's awesome, guys. And that, that'll all be on uh, hybendigital.com backslash Brett Ratowski. So it's, it's actually Ratkowski, yep. but uh, it's B R E double T Rat K O K O W S K I R A T K O W S K I B R E double T R A T K O W S K I hybendigital.com or you could just go to hybendigital.com it'll be the first one on there type in brett it'll be on there um and uh we will put these ad copies for you to take a look at and print out and use in your own business uh in the toolbox as well which could be found on hybendigital.com backslash toolbox or texting the word toolbox the four 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 nine nine nine. so it'll be in the toolbox as well Brett, listen, this has been great, buddy. You got some great information here. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you coming on the show. Best of luck to you in Fort Lauderdale. Can't wait to talk to you in another year and uh, see that you, you know, made 450000 or even more uh, just from Facebook ads. So I love it. I really appreciate you taking the time out. No, I appreciate you you having me on here. It's, it's been an honor. And, and I like I said, I, I really appreciate it. I will definitely keep you updated on, uh, uh, on the growth for sure. Thank you for watching Real Estate Rockstars. Please give us a review wherever you're watching or wherever you're listening. We eat feedback for breakfast. And I don't care whether you give me a one-star review or a five-star review. I just want the review. I want to know what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. Would love to improve things. Hey, and listen, please subscribe. The more subscribers we get and the more reviews we get, the better guests we'll get for you in the future. Feel free to reach out to me anywhere on social media. Just type in my name. I'm everywhere. And I look forward to meeting you in the digital world. Have a great day. And thanks again for listening to Real Estate Rockstars.